and I'm a student at the Hughes Jones Center, and today we're going to teach you the HJC way. Today I'm going to show Taya here how to groom badge. So the first step in grooming is your curry comb. It's, uh, the curry combs that we have here are rubber and they have these little stubby knobs on them. And we're going to use it in circular motion on badge to get all of the, uh, the excess dirt off. So we start behind their ears. We never want to use the curry comb on their face. It's too sensitive. And we're going to use it in circles like this. And it'll lift all of the dirt up. And we're going to move down. We're going to do everywhere except for below their knee or below their hock, which is like their backwards knee over here. All right, so Taya, do you want to try? Sure. I left all of the dirt off of him in circles. Why do we have to curry? Why do we have to use the curry comb on our horse? It'll lift up all of the dirt that might be down close to their skin. So we use the curry comb in circles so that we can lift it up, and then later we'll brush it off with a different brush. Why is the curry comb the first one? Because if you have any dirt or mud, like badge is really really dirty and muddy today, it'll. Uh, help break up that mud and get it off. So we can brush it off after. Hi, I'm gonna demonstrate to Ellen how we use the dandy brush on our horses. So a lot like the curry comb, we're gonna use it in all the same places. We're not gonna use it on their face or below the knee. And this is a stiff bristle brush and you're gonna use it in short flicking motions. Like that. So you can give it a try and you're gonna Keep one hand on your horse at all times. Okay. Why do we use the dandy brush after the curry comb? Good question. Because the curry comb, it kind of loosens all the dirt and hair, and it brings it to the surface, and the dandy brush kind of flicks it off. Now I'm going to show Sophia how to use a body brush. The body brush is the third and last brush that we use. We're going to use it on Blue here. He's our blind horse, so you just gotta make sure you talk to him and let him know that you're there before you, uh, you approach him so you don't scare him. So you're gonna take your body brush, which is our fine bristled brush, and you're gonna do the same thing. Start behind their ears. You can use it on their face and everywhere is like all on their legs. And you're gonna use it in long, smooth strokes, like this, and it'll make them really shiny and remove any find us that you might have messed with the curry comb or the dandy brush. Alright, so you want to try Sophia? Yep, just in long strokes like that, you can use it all over. Sophia, do you have any questions? What's the purpose of it? It's to get, like, with the curry comb and the dandy brush, you're not always going to get all of the little pieces of dust off. So it gets the little pieces of dust off. Or if you want to make your horse really, really shiny, it uh, helps shine them up. It's almost like a massage, too. Yeah. It kind of releases nice. all the oils and stuff in their, in their coat. That's how they get shiny. Yeah. Good. For more information, visit us online at www.thehughesdronecenter.ca or find our book on iTunes, Learning to Ride the HJC Way 1.